One of you guys asked me to do a review on a Tokyo Marui pistol, so this is that. This is the TM 6 hour P226 E2 or E squared. The real steel SIG Sauer P226 is a double stack version of the old SIG P220, intended for use by the US military in the 80s. It was one of the pistols that pioneered the way for the mass use of semi-automatic pistols and kind of killed off the revolver, and it became a point of reference for a lot of modern day design pistols. One of the main gripes with the P226 was in fact the grip, which is why SIG Sauer in response came out with the E2. Now because this gas blowback pistol is made by Tokyo Marui, which is designed for the Japanese market, it has the full polymer body which we have come to expect. The lower frame of the pistol is a matte black, whilst the upper slide is painted a steel grey. The slide itself is very lightweight and just kind of lacks the realism of the metal slides that other manufacturers like WE come out with. It just feels a little bit plasticky and toy-like, but don't let that fool you it packs one hell of a kick when it comes to firing. And where the slide lacks realism in terms of material build, it does however have the traditional Sig Sauer P226 trademark on the side of the slide, as well as a little E squared on the other. On the lower portion of the slide we see the Tokyo Marui made in Japan trades, as well as a serial number. The slide also features some very deep serrations on the rear of the slide, making gripping it very easy, and features fixed front and rear sights painted with white dots, making target acquisition very easy. Now the lower frame are where the P226 E2 differences come into play. Now as I've mentioned, the problem with the P226 was that it had a very wide grip, so that people with smaller framed hands found it much more difficult to use it. So they came out with the E2, which stands for Enhanced Ergonomics, and it features a much smaller, thinner grip in order for those small-handed players to get more purchase and more control when using the pistol. And because of the thinness of the grip, it makes accessing the rest of the features so much easier. The slide release latch hovers just above the thumb, meaning that there's only the slightest amount of movement needed to reset the slide back to its forward position. Just beyond that is a decocking lever, which will allow the player to depress the hammer and the trigger just far enough, about halfway, to make the pistol safe when you're not ready to use it straight away. Now this feature is extra important on a pistol like this, which has no other form of inbuilt safety. The mag release button on this pistol is extremely stiff, which is both a good thing because it means that you won't nudge it and lose your mag, but also it makes it harder and less comfortable to change mags. Now finally for the externals, just beyond the slide takedown lever just there, you can find an underslide rail for attachments such as a flashlight. I mentioned earlier that this slide feels a bit plasticky and a bit like a toy, and that is of course until it comes to firing it. Not only that, but because it's so lightweight, it means that it will perform decently even in colder weather, unlike its metal slide rivals. Now this pistol chronos at an average of 282 feet per second and features an adjustable hop up on the underside of the slide. Of course that means you'll have to part field strip the pistol which actually isn't an issue for most. Moving on to the magazine, it is a full metal magazine adding just a bit more heft to the pistol. It sports the 6 hour 9mm trademark on the side of it and feels like most other gas blowback magazines. One thing to note is that because of this mag release button being so stiff, you really want to make sure you give it a good whack to make sure it's seated properly in the magwell. So, overall this is a nice and comfortable pistol to shoot, and although it's got a plastic slide, it doesn't lose any of that satisfying kick when you pull the trigger. Definitely a good choice to have if you're living in cooler climates, because it means that your gas efficiency and the lightweightness of the slide and the body itself will keep you going far beyond those metal slide opponents. With that in mind, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the reliability of the TM plastic slide, or do you prefer others with a metal oomph? Let me know in the comments below. And also don't forget to hit that like for me, it really does help. Last thing, remember to go and check out Airsoft Zone. They have a ton of great products and they actually provided me this to have a little look at. Uh, if there's anything else you want reviewed, let me know and I will see you guys next week. Take it easy.